Hi everyone and welcome to my first video here on Light Paint Hacks. Use the dodgy uh, backdrop here. I'm not quite set up to doing for di doing uh, videos yet, but we'll give it a go. I'm going to show you today uh, how I made some physiograms using a two-point harmonograph, which I've got set up here. I'll, uh... So the harmonograph here is just a simple piece of wood. It's a uh, 40 by 70 roughly, or it's about 0.75 by one and a half inch for those used to working in Imperial. Uh, I've just put some black tape along it. You could paint it uh, in black or whatever. I actually used Sharpie on the end, some black Sharpie to, to take the ends out just in case I wanted to put well, uh, run this all the way up to the end. Um, I got a couple of weights on here. These are just some sinkers that I bought from a fishing department at a shop just to give it some uh, some weight and, and keep the momentum up when it's when it's moving. And then just a couple of strings straight up to the roof. One here, one at the other end up here. And that uh, that's basically the two pendulums uh, at either end. So in the uh, piece of wood that I've used for the harmonograph, you might not be able to see it in this video, but I've just drilled a random series of holes all the way through this. And that's so that I can just put a little uh, LED in there. This is a dual inline package type LED. It's the ones with the little plastic uh, encapsulation over the top. Um, so I was just putting those into each of these little holes from the top and then I could connect them to my battery. So the light source I used for the physiograms in this case was the, just this little LED. Uh, it's actually wired up so that it's got a resistor already in it so it can run uh, 12 volts. So I initially started using it at 12 volts with one of my little battery packs here that's uh, got eight double A's in it. That was way too bright to start with. It was actually making the light look very white because the movement of the pendulum uh, was or well, the, the harmonograph was uh, probably a little bit too slow for the amount of light that was coming out. So I switched to a little pack of four AAAs and that's about six volts. At six volts it was still too bright. So I really wanted to tone, tone down the brightness on this. It was still coming out quite white. So I actually ended up just taping the, uh, the ends of the, the, the lead wires on the LED to a little button cell. And that was a 1.5 volt button cell. So that really kind of took the brightness out of it. I almost could have gone a little bit lower or if I had been able to maybe change a resistor that went with the LED to, to take some of the brightness out of it. But at, at one and a half volts, it re worked reasonably well as you can see from the pictures. So I'll just take you through the camera setup here that I used to make the physiograms with my two pendulum harmonograph. I've just used my SLR in this case. I, have the, I also have a little micro four thirds, which I probably could have used as well. Uh, so I've gone with a wide angle lens in this case uh, with some zoom. It's a 16 to 35 millimeter lens on this one, and I actually played with the zoom to, to uh, as I as I took more and more shots just to see what would give me the best effect. Uh, obviously, using a, a timer remote or a remote in this case um, with a locking function so that we could run this in in bulb mode and just let the exposure run using the remote, and just put it on my tripod here. I've just got a ball head that I could that allows me to point the camera straight up at the uh, harmonograph so that we can capture the physiograms. So as I mentioned before, we were using bold mode with a, a remote to be able to take these physiogram images. Uh, I also went with f22 as an aperture to really close up the aperture because I, I did have a lot of light coming from the LED and I also ran ISO 100 so the camera stopped way down, it's not letting a lot of light in because it's such a long exposure and we have a reasonably bright light source pointed directly at the camera. So that was really to, to kind of tone the, the, the uh, amount of light down and to really try and bring up the colour that was coming out of the LEDs where I use either a red or a blue LED. You'll notice with the blue LED it started to look a bit white uh, in some areas of the image so I was really trying to get that blue to come out. I'm also a little bit lazy when it comes to focus. So I actually lined up the camera so I could use autofocus on the harmonograph. I had to do that with the lights on to start with. And then I switched the, the lens to manual focus so that in subsequent exposures, I wouldn't uh, have the, the camera hunting around and trying to focus on something that wasn't there in the dark. And I could just keep clicking the button and taking more and more pictures of physiograms as this went on without having to worry about the focus system. All right, now for the fun part, actually making some physiograms using the harmonograph. So mount up some LEDs, uh, one LED, two LEDs, however many you want to try, into the harmonograph. And then all you've got to do is just take it out and either drop it and let it swing, or you can actually uh, try and manually start an interesting swing pattern and 
just to see what you get. Once it's swinging how you want it, start your exposure. Let it run for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 60 seconds, however long you want to try. Then stop your ex exposure and have a look at what you've got. If you, are, if you like it, maybe try a few more with uh, that swing or maybe try a different swing, try a different exposure length. Maybe you want a little bit more in the pattern, a little bit less in the pattern. Just uh, experiment with it. Once you've got all this set up, it's easy to take a whole lot of exposures and just play with it. And that's the beauty of digital photography is that you're not wasting film. So there you have it. That's uh, Physiograms using a, a two pendulum harmonograph. Hope you uh, enjoyed my first video here for uh, lightpainhack.com. Don't forget to check out the website and, uh, and check out the YouTube channel and keep coming back and I'll keep putting up more videos.